thing I want to do is get my vertical align menu to be horizontal. So if you recall what we're looking at here, the gray is my local copy, which is how it is currently, and the this beige one is the where I'm going to. Actually, this is something I've done beforehand and I've uploaded it. So I want to go from this to that. So uh, I've already wrapped a div, a div wrapper, a div container around this, and now what I'm going to do is target one of these elements and have it align it to uh, horizontally. Now, what do you think I'm going to do? How am I going to do this? Okay, so if you're thinking that I'm going to float these things to the left, you are on the money. So let's do just that. I'm going to highlight this one. I'll create a new style rule. Um, this is, I'm not going to actually target the, uh, the link over here. I'm actually going to target the list items. So check this, this uh, declaration out carefully. So pound nav dash menu. So that's a div container that it's in. And nested inside of div of this div menu is an unordered list. That's exactly right. And we're targeting the list item in this list. Now, if we just targeted the unordered list, that means that the that all of the elements in that list as a whole would be floated to the left, um, like the whole block rather. So if you think of it as a vertical block, all of them would be floated to the left, as opposed to uh, targeting each individual list item within that vertical block those are gonna just get go horizontal so let me show you make sure that I'm going into main okay so far so good let's put this float so now I'm gonna float this thing to the left alright now you see the effect it had I'll show you obviously it went from from this horizontal to I'm sorry from the vertical to the horizontal but you know it floated it to the left and now it's just home contact one word so um, I'm gonna add just a little bit of margin uh, let me add it to the right and I'll do something like um, one oops one em I'm going to put in there all right, now that kind of gives those things a little bit of breathing room. Okay. All right, now what just happened over here? Well, you see how how all of a sudden our H1 got pushed over to the right? Now, this is kind of annoying. Let me see if this is happening in everything. Now, well, it's not. I'm looking at Internet Explorer 7. It's not happening here. And... Let's check this out in Safari. And it's not happening there either. So why is it happening in Firefox? Well, I actually know. I'm going to give you a second to think. Maybe I'll give you a little bit of a hint too. What happens to the elements underneath elements that you float one way? Well, here's what's happening. When you float an element to the left, that means anything below it is going to just come up. So if you float the element to the left, anything below it will probably try to touch it right up to the right. That's the whole point of, of float. But float often, uh, when you're using float, you do something else to other elements to make sure that's not happening. And that's, well, that's to clear them. So even though it's not happening in in uh, Internet Explorer or or Firefox, um, I'm sorry, Internet Explorer Safari, I think that if I use clear on whatever this element is, which is a header one, it should knock it down for me. Let me see if that is the case. So here's H1, and I have H1 here, and now if we look even at what our H1's doing, See, we have a little top padding, and, and uh, the top padding is probably what's causing a little bit of that of that spacing. Anyway, it doesn't even, I mean, it's causing the vertical spacing. That's, that's uh, I don't know if that's really affecting us this much over here. But I think if I go clear, where should I clear it? I guess it gets to the left, right? Because that, that element's to the left. 
All right, it gives us a little bit of space over here. And actually, if you look now, this one EM, I was, I was wrong before, this one EM wasn't even taking effect at that point because if I delete this, I think this one EM at this point is just referring to the distance between um, the H1 from here to the top of the container div. But now once I add clear, it's going to clear left specifically, it's going to clear our unordered list and go down 1EM and keep that vertical spacing. So let's see if we have a little more consistency now. Um, I'll refresh Internet Explorer, push that down. I'll refresh Safari, it pushed it down. I'll just give a preview so far. And where is um, Firefox? Okay. Now that looks among the three, amongst the three over here looks more consistent without Firefox having that particular issue.